What is up YouTube? Welcome back. It's a buddy Technoboy and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to set up your Yamaha AV receiver. Well in the most of the advanced receiver you'll get a Wipeow uh, mic that will do the setup automatically but in case if you don't like the automatic setup and you want to do it manually or you have an old entry-level receiver and you need to set it up manually then you need to watch this video so this is the Yamaha AV receiver and it's HTR2067 so this thing doesn't have Wipeow uh, mic so I'm going to do the setup manually and uh, going to show you the steps one by one so for doing that I had to reset it like it was before when it was new because I already set it up and I was using it so I had to do the reset and now it's all clean so let's start using this remote and here you can see it's marked as setup so first you need to press this button and then go to enter and says config again enter and subwoofer use if you are using a subwoofer then use it or if you don't want to use a subwoofer then place it as none like if you are using a bigger you know tower speakers as a front speakers then you may not need the subwoofer so then you can use this one if you're not using subwoofer or else select use then the front speakers as I have small, you can change it by pressing these arrow buttons. Large, small, large. I have small, center, small. You can select as large. Surround, same, small, large. And uh, now the crossover is set to 160 hertz. It's uh, too high. You need to go down by pressing this arrow button to 80 hertz. As I told you in old videos that 80 Hertz is the perfect setting for subwoofer crossover and uh, up to the 80 Hertz all the frequencies will come from the, all the speakers and below 80 Hertz will go to the subwoofer. So that's way the receiver distribute the frequency among the channels and the subwoofers. So 80 Hertz then phase it's normal the subwoofer phase is normal or you can put it as reverse if you are using it uh, behind your sitting position then you need it reverse or if you are keeping it at front then normal extra bass you get extra bass in Yamaha receiver and you can turn it on or off as you like so I'm gonna select it as on and this is kind of virtual surround kind of thing you know all your front speakers you can keep it you can keep all the speakers at the front if you don't have a place to keep to mount the rear speakers somewhere so you can keep all the speakers five speakers at the front and you can select this VC front on now I have mounted my surround speakers at the back so I don't need it so let's turn it off and that's all in the config then you need to go back this return button right here and go down then come to the distance and press enter and it's set as a meter you can change the unit by pressing this arrow button to feet I'm use I'm gonna use the feet right here so this is the default setting it uh, comes with the receiver 9.8, 9.8, center 8.6, surround 8.0, 8.0, and subwoofer 9.8. So that's the default setting. Now you gotta measure your speaker distance from the listening position, and then you set the, the distance right here, uh, one by one. Like front left, I have like 4.4 feet and front right same and center is at 4.2 feet 
Now let's go to the surround left. It's at 7.8. Surround right, 7.8 same. And subwoofer is at 6.2 feet. All right, so that's the basic thing. It's done now. And uh, set the level. That's the zero. That mark is there, that's the zero. That's the zero. And if you go forward, you can go. I'm gonna set it right there. I'm gonna set it right there, front left and front right. Then the center, center will be a little bit more. Yeah, like that. Then surround left. They are far from me. So the level would be like this. Surround left, surround right. Now subwoofer. A little bit more, that's it. Alright, so the distance and the configuration and the level is done. Now the equalizer it's set at GEQ but I don't like it to be on because you can set the equalizer according to your need but for that you need you cannot use the bass treble and if you don't use the bass treble then you can use the equalizer or else the sound would be like uh, more messy kind of you know the more loud it gets and the more it gets uh, mixed up with uh, all the highs and lows and all so use uh, any one thing like uh, equalizer or the bass treble so i prefer the bass treble so i'm gonna select it off if you want to use the equalizer then you can select it and then can go go down then you'll get the equalizer setting by the channel names front left that's low then the next then mid then highs it's like that you can set it just like that and now again like front left then front right and then go down if center then surround left surround right so you can set each channel like that according to your needs what you like so that's it but i'm not gonna use it so i'm gonna keep it off and go back and now the test tone so now let's check the tone Alright, so you heard all the noise, all the channels and the subwoofer. So the testing is done. Now go back. And the setup is done, speaker setup is done. Now let's go to the HDMI setup. Here config. Then right. So you wanna control through your HDMI, then turn it on. And then TV audio. You can select any one of this right there and then sync auto and then arc on means the uh, audio return channel so if it's connected to the projector or tv so when you turn on the projector or the tv if it has the arc function then that will turn your receiver on so it will make your uh, job easy if you're using hdmi so this is for that function only if you're using hdmi you can you can turn it on so now the scene you can select any one from right there at the back the, all the inputs the HDMI are marked as something like here you can see BD DVD you can turn it on off or TV on off it's uh, like that you can select any one from here and then the HDMI is done now let's go to the sound setup here the DSP parameter and now you need to turn the panorama on 
and then the center wide go down to zero the center wide is the features that makes your uh, center speaker uh, noise distribute to the those front channels so if you uh, select the center wide like uh, two three four five the more you select the more the vocal that mostly comes from the center speakers that will distribute through the front channels too so all front speakers will throw the vocals equally and if you select zero center wide then you'll get the vocals from the center speaker and mostly the center speaker and it will move through the front front channels and the rear channels according to the movement of the character or the things on the movie or something like that so center wide to zero and dimension zero and panorama on so it's done now go back and lip sync we don't need that volume you can go and set the volume to db or direct number like 0 to 97 i'm going to select it to db and then drc at max if you know the dynamic range compressor or control something like that if you put it at max it will compress the loud noise and increase the low noise and it will balance the highs and the lows in a movie scene or like that so that's it but if you want the real theatrical experience then you gotta turn it to minimum or auto it's uh, like that or better you need to turn it off so then you'll get the real theatrical experience the loud explosion and loud the sound effect and then low and high and all like that exactly happens in the movie theater so here set it at minimum and auto and then this is the max volume and this is the initial volume set at off mute minus 80 db you can set it i'm going to set it to minus 40 db that's the initial volume so it doesn't matter uh, how loud i listen to the uh, receiver or anything like as you can see it right here it's set at minus 18 db the volume control but if i set the initial volume 40 minus 40 db here whenever i turn on the receiver and the next time i turn it on it will come with the default uh, minus 40 db so that's it now let's check the other stuff so now after the sound setup uh, go down and you'll get the echo setup here you can set auto power standby echo mode you can select it i didn't need that and the next thing is function setup OSD language setup and that's it now you can go to the function setup and here you can see input rename so whatever input name is there at the back audio 1 audio 2 audio 3 you can rename them uh, here like uh, computer iPod whatever is connected to the source it, you can name them uh, in here so that's it now let's go to the option button right here and here you can see tone control go in and here you can see treble bypass bass bypass so it means bypass means the bass and treble is not working so if you use the equalizer then it will then keep this bass treble as bypass or i'm not going to keep it i'm going to use bass treble so i'm going to set it to 4.5 and treble at 6 the max now it's back and here DSP surround so here let's see auto DRC 
here you can see auto DRC as I told you the dynamic range compressor which was right there to select the level of the compression but here you can select the on and off it's on off when you turn it on here you can see the name came adaptive DRC right below the volume control level indicator so I'm gonna turn it off then the enhancer you need to turn the enhancer on it's gonna give you better sound and then DSP level okay volume trim for the need trimming lip sync signal info audio in turn control so now the everything is done and and now the best thing to select the Dolby now it's time to select the Dolby the surround decode button it's Pro Logic and Pro Log PL2 movie and then PL2 music as I told you in an old video that selecting PL2 movie is not going to give you that great effects what you get uh, from a movie theater uh, the surrounds will work like uh, the same kind of sound as the fronts but in uh, eco kind of mode but if you select the PL2 music then you'll get the real surround effect and the left right as the objects and uh, sound move in the movies then you can hear the sound moving from the right to left surrounds and then from the surround speakers to the front speakers as the object is moving in the movie like that so that's it that was the manually set up video of this Yamaha AV receiver if you have any problem understanding the process or anything like that you can ask me in the comments below and I will definitely try to solve your problems so that's all for today see you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye